Hello. All right, I think I'm done with this uh, new effect for Final Cut Pro and Motion. So I'm just going to give you a quick little run of what I did. Um, there is the paintbrush tool that I created. And here's the airbrush. And here's the pencil. And with the pencil, you can also turn off this uh, line effect if you want. If you do not want to see this effect, you can turn that off. So if you just want to see the image without the line effect, you can turn that off. Um, I also have the magic wand, which also gives you the option to turn on uh, the particles. So let me turn the particles on, and then you see some particles along with it. Also with this wand, the reason I have the particles on or off is because it does reduce uh, render time increases render times when you have the particles on so you can either use it without the particles or you can leave with the particles on so one idea is is um, you can do a test to see if you like how it looks you can test how it looks and if you like it then you can turn the particles on and just let it render for a little longer. Um, so I got the, the mystical wand going. I have to render that again. And here I have like a fairy-ish kind of wand as well with some particles on it. Also, you can turn the particles off if you want. I also have a, from a member request, a an option to have the pencil draw on and then the paintbrush come in and just fill in the color. So that was actually from a recommendation from one of the members on the website. And of course the duration of how fast everything happens depends on how long the clip is. And I also made it so all the all the different effects will happen without the tools. So if you want the paintbrush effect or the magic wand effect to, to happen without the tools, you can do that as well. I added the tool blur, so in case you wanted to add a little blur to the tools, um, it's, it's a little faster render than the motion blur, so I just added the blur to the tools themselves. If not, then everything will have a motion blur, including the particles, and that'll really slow down the renders. Also, you can turn on the pencil line art if you want. So you can turn off the pencil line art or leave it on. Uh, also, you can control the brush handle color. So if you want to change it to a different color, you can do that. All right. And also for the fairy, the, the wand effect, you can also change the color as well. So whatever color you want to do. So it doesn't have to be pink. And also for the mystical wand. If you want to change the color of the wand, you can do that as well here. And also I added the op opportunity to turn off the background color. If you want to add your own kind of background, you can do that. Or you can use this as a transition. If you want to bring this over something else, you can do that as well and also change the option to change the background color. And that's pretty much it. I kept the controls uh, very simple, but the complexity of it was actually the creation of it. I got to learn a lot of cool things. I got to learn how to take uh, the particle system further, also how to use the replicator to do cool little effects like this. And I also want to thank my members for, for sharing their input and their feedback to uh, make this template better. And also, I'll be releasing an early release to all members uh, next week. So keep an eye out for your emails for the early release of this template. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, please let me know. And make sure to visit motionmastertemplates.com and show your support by either downloading a free template or becoming a member or downloading a, one of the single templates. Thank you for your time and have an amazing day.